On the Senate floor, this is how Senate President John Cullerton introduced Sox and Bulls owner Jerry Reinsdorf, along with Ozzie Guillen and Horace Grant. Uh, I'd like to welcome them to Springfield, and I think we just raised your income taxes. More than anything said today, Cullerton's remark reveals Governor J.B. Pritzker's fair tax plan as one that unquestionably soaks the rich. I believe it's wrong that I would pay the same tax rate as someone earning $100,000 or someone earning $30,000. The current flat tax stands at 4.95% for everyone. Under the Pritzker plan, taxes would only go up for those making more than $250,000. Their rate, 7.75%. And for those making over a million a year, 7.99% for joint filers. No. Republicans objected. To solve our problems, we don't need to raise tax rates. What we need to do is create jobs. But with Illinois facing a $3.2 billion deficit, Democrats claimed there was no alternative. A graduated income tax that allows 97% of people in this state to pay the same or less. I find it absolutely amazing that you would argue against that. It passed with a required three-fifths vote, 40 to 19, and the fight now moves to the Illinois House, where the battle lines will be the same. And if anybody thinks that raising income taxes is a way to grow population in this state, you know, they're, they're smoking some of the soon-to-be legalized marijuana. The graduated tax could have a tougher time in the Illinois House, where some downstate Democrats are said to be wavering. Democrats have 74 votes there. They'll need 71 votes to approve it. But even if it gets the green light in the House, it's voters who will have the final say in a referendum. Reporting live from the control room, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Brad and Erica. All right, Derek, thank you.